Hello, today I would like to show you our newest product, Requises Orca. Requises Orca is an AI co-pilot for Doors Next Generation. It has two main functions. One is the module AI and the other is the REC workspace. I would like to start with a module AI that allows you to simple prompt with requirements. For example, if you want to have some requirements being translated, simply select the requirements that you want to um, have translated and then type in translate. This will then send the data to the AI and the AI will reply with a translation which you simply can then take over by pressing the update artifact button. And in case you didn't like it, then you can also can pass, press the undo button to um, yeah, set it back to the original value. So once I've clicked everything, then this chapter has been translated. And the best thing is the translation keeps the formatting. So you see that these words are still in bold as they have been before. Also, if there are graphics inside, this will also be kept. And also the alternative text, if there is any, this will be then translated. So uh, let's do some other stuff. For example, we can select these requirements to give the AI um, as basic information. And then we can say, OK, I want some more requirements. So it may not make sense in this use case, because it's not very specific, but it's just a kind of, you know, proof of concept what it can do. Uh, please write some additional requirements that I have missed. Let's see what comes out. So it has some information, some requirements found uh, that I am not now able to add here, select the requirement I want to have it and then say I want to have them after and then these requirements will directly being added to my doors next module. Of course you have to check whether these requirements make sense at all but this is just you know kind of proof that it can do something but you of course you need to do a really good prompt in order to get something really useful. So then let's go to the other tab. This is the REC workspace. Uh, the REC workspace allows you to interact with documents. So you start by uploading the documents. Uh, these documents can either be a file or a DNG module. Uh, for the file types, we support Word, PowerPoint, PDF, and also RecRF files. So once you upload the information to the system, it will get indexed and vectorized, so you are able to ask questions or find and compare the requirements that you have in your DOORS module to the documents. So uh, let's start by finding related requirement. So go to related requirement, we select the document. Uh, this here is a law document from the European Union uh, describing uh, turn signals and this is a German specification document of a turn signal and then I select a specific requirement and this talks about the voltages and uh, the requirement is now displayed here that I have selected. I click on search and then the AI will look for similar requirements and it found some. So here you see uh, this is the text of the requirement uh, it has been found. You can see where it has been found and which document and uh, in what page. And you also have here a conflict indicator that shows you that there is a conflict between the similar requirement that has been found and your specification in your DOORS next module. So if you clicked on conflict, you can see what the AI tells you about. So it already found that the voltage that there is a mismatch. So in my document, I have 48 volts, where in the document, which is the law document, it should have been 28 volts. So, oh, I made a mistake in my requirements. So uh, it helps me here also to detect uh, problems in my requirements. And if I have used the ask question functions upfront before writing the requirement, I already would have known because if I would have typed in what are the 
voltages for LED lights, then the AI would have told me that it should not be 48 volts, but it should be 28 volts. Let's give it a few seconds and it will give you some description. Uh, unfortunately, as the document is in German, it currently um, still gives the information back in the language as the document has been written, but um, this will be changed so that you can select the language in which you want to have the output, even if the document is in different language. But what you already can see is that if you type in your query in English, but the document is in German, it still will find it. So it's just about the output kind of that needs to be changed in here. So, and you see here that uh, in the reply, I would have known upfront that the voltage should be different. So if I already had uh, ARCA when writing this requirements document, I uh, would already have been, um, you know, had a benefit from it and didn't, would have made this mistake. I'm so excited about our new product. So what do you think? Just put it in the comments and let me know. And share the video with other people that should know about it. If you would like to have a demo or try it on your own in your environment, just comment this video and I will contact you to get everything settled.